okay. Mikey Mike 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 Tyson is making a comeback. The B side word. I can't believe this. Actually, I don't really like Mike Tyson, so I don't know why I stand why? so excited. Isn't he the one that like bit someone's ear off? Yeah, all right. So I, anyways, I have a pre-story to that. But anyways, <laughs> and also I don't like him because he was a, he's a rapist. He was a convicted rapist. Is he? Yes. Yeah, he went to oh, jail. Oh, man. He went to jail I, I, for I think, like three years. A mod, like Miss USA or something. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. This is or, or, a long or, time or, ago. Or, or Miss Black USA, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. The most slight tangent sentence, but isn't it getting a little concerning about these celebrities that have these things and we just don't know <laughs> yes. how often these things are coming out now? Yeah. But, but anyway, not, this, this has been out for years. He this was a long, a long time ago, like yeah. in the before his... I think, well, let me just see. Actually, is there, so, is there a rehab? Is there rehabilitated? I don't know. Oh. I, I don't hang out with him. <laughs> this oh. was, I think, in the 90s. Guys. Yeah, he raped a girl in the 90s. Okay. But um, still, and also he's a bit, anyway, but he's making a comeback. Mm. Um, he's 53. I thought he was older. Oh. But he's not. No. 53. Heavyweight, um, and he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna return to the ring. I'm gonna take part in the um, like tour. Is it? Do they have tours, ongoing tours, or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, whatever it is, exhibitions. Um, so he's been training, and there's just a, an image of how he used to look before the training last year, and how he looks now. He's a beast, man. And he had like the old, you know, pot belly a little bit, not massive or anything, but it wasn't, he wasn't really, yeah, it was just normal 53 year old, you know? And then now he's like cut again. Yeah. He looking, he looking beastly. He's he looks looking beastly. Like it. And he's got, so his trainer is a, um, MMA coach, Rafael Cadero. I don't know who that is, but I guess it must be someone good. Um, and now I was, there was a, a picture of them training and this guy, is it? I don't know if this is normal. This guy had like a full on. Body suit? Yes, but it was like, it looked like it had either padding or yeah. air, like massive, taking body shots, I guess. Yeah, but he probably used to be peeing out of blood later. What? Yeah, he actually I, got hit in the kidneys. Yeah, because he's one of the most devastating punches yeah. of all time. Yeah. If you watch him. It's like it's like he's a foot, uh, he's a, he's a foot shorter than everybody. I don't know how he the amount of power that he can get from his legs and transfer yeah. it into his hands. It's like man, man, like get he, out of the way. He, See, he, here's this picture with his trainer there. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a full suit, but it's just the yeah, no. like a vest thingy. Yeah. Yeah. T- tell me a bit more about Mike Tyson, CJ. With one of the best in his prime. In his prime. One of his best punches ever to be seen. Like he used to hit people, and they are hit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I yeah, he hit people. <laughs> I only watched a few of his clips and stuff, the highlight clips. Yeah, and the way that he just bent, like his movement, like, his head movement, he his able, body he movement, was able to generate that much force. Yeah, with each blow, like, like well, it he, says he that hit people. Right. he was the youngest heavyweight champion of yeah. all time. He was twenty years old, and he beat Trevor Burbick in nineteen eighty six. Now, what I found interesting was um, Muhammad Ali. Apparently, according to George Foreman, was was a bit scared of um, of Tyson, and he said, "I don't know if I could have beat Tyson in his prime." There you go. Mm-hmm. Like, like was, if, if someone can hit you once and knock you out, mm. he can beat you. That's what he had. That's what people people are saying. Like, there's been a question going around because this video of him training surfaced um, internet wide, and people have been asking, "Would you?" Now get in a ring with Mike Tyson. No. Like at all the young ones him. would say, Of course I would, of course I would. Really? I would not The get young in. ones, they're crazy. What young one? Young heavyweights? Yeah, because there's no, <laughs> there's no good heavyweights at the moment. Because young <laughs> it's just like in jail, like the young ones are crazy. They don't have any they don't uh, have that yeah, same if level. If they of, don't know if they've never seen Mike Tyson fight and they go, Yeah, I'll take him, he's a fifty year old, I go all yeah. right, whatever. He ain't your basic 50 year old. No. <laughs> like, he was showing people techniques on the side of the football field, and he's like, and he's like, the, these young bulls are like, how do you punch? And he goes, man, you've got to step, make your whole body step, and whack. And you're like, look at Mike Tyson. And you can see it in his eyes. He still has the fire, like that, that killer instinct is still in his eyes. Because, like, he was on the Joe Rogan podcast once, right? And um, Joe said, uh, do you. Do you still box and stuff? He goes, no, I don't like to compete. It's not good for my my being and yeah. stuff. He goes, oh really? I wanna, it's either I'm the best 
or I don't want to do it. That's yeah, how he. You listen like, to him talk about his psyche; it's really interesting. Yeah, he, but he must have changed though that then. No, he's. I think the. I think no. he's coming in to fight Evander Holyfield. Oh, so that fire that. I think I'm gonna take the other ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah. this the, the idea of fighting. This is what I would say, right? And I'm saying this completely hypothetically because if you actually put it in real life, I probably wouldn't do this, but. <laughs> Um, if like Maxi trained me for a year, so I actually understood how boxing worked and like how to throw a punch and actually affect someone with a punch and that kind of stuff, yeah. I reckon I would do it if there was a prize purse. Of course, I'm not just doing this for nothing. <laughs> I reckon I would do it because <laughs> that's a, that's a although, a 50, although a 50 year old Pot Tyson could punch and knock me out, no doubt, probably very easily, I feel like I could just outrun him for a couple of rounds, just <laughs> not get hit. And then start fighting. Outrun him. Because even Whoa. a 50, no matter how much, <laughs> run around no matter the how good the you are at 53, you're still not in shape like a. You'd be getting like, boos like, from okay. left, right, and center. Hey. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, 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 if you're bouncing around from corner to corner. If there was a like, big, a, a big nope, enough nope, purse, nope. <laughs> I'd go on the ring with him. Siege. And get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, if there was Siege, a he closes, he closes the gap. He'd go in the ring with him. He cuts off. He cuts you off so he corners you. It's like. I know a year worth of training versus Mike Tyson. It has to be a big purse, Alexander. Yeah. It has to be yeah. a very, very big purse. Like, no, I mean, again, again, yeah. I'm not suggesting that I would be better at fighting than yeah, him yeah. after a year. I'm just suggesting I could, I, I could outrun him now. Is what I believe. So I could, go. I could get him to he, at least somewhat he, tired. He now. will close you down. But now quickly. I need actual techniques There's... to actually hit him back because yeah. I need him to be tired. And can you see the video, Dad? <laughs> no, no, no. It's all right. No, no, I saw it. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, you know, you have the reach. Like, I think, I think running is not your strategy. I think you jabbing constantly, okay. annoying him. No, is but, your but strategy. you know what's gonna happen? Once he's the first get time, <laughs> his plan My strategy is, is not gonna go out hit. the window. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once he gets hit, he's gonna hit panic mode. Yeah. And close up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's in general like? Because these body shots are killer. Yeah. yeah. People make a comeback. Are they generally successful, or Some are. is just, it uh, like? Just ah, a, there's only one athlete that I know that's made a comeback successful. Who? MJ. George Foreman. I thought uh. you were going to say that. But <laughs> George Foreman. But like... George Foreman, yeah. He George won Foreman. the heavyweight title. Yeah. After a comeback. Yeah, I think he was in his 40s or 50s. Who else? Because it's it, you've got to weigh up. Like, do I do I leave Mah- it, you Muhammad know, my, my legacy? Or do I try again, but then I might not be as good? Or do you think people would still just remember the legacy period? Oh, people still remember. Floyd Mayweather makes a comeback every two years. I, <laughs> I definitely think that... The last thing you do sticks in people's minds. I yeah, think last plays, thing. I think that does play a pact. Yeah, I mean, it, does I mean it, impact. it only matters to the diehard fans, really. Like, there's always going to be the the casual watchers that have the, that will stick in their mind the last thing that they fight. But the diehard fans would be like, "Oh, he was great. He did he did the comeback, and he wasn't so good." But like the casual viewers, yeah. So I, I don't even remember him fighting Lennox Lewis. Like Lennox dominated him. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, no, I think. But I remember him knocking people out. Tyson Fury did a great comeback. How okay. old's he though? But he's not that age. Oh, he's not that age. What? what like, what's the definition of comeback? Oh, Are we no, talking okay. about his comeback after fifteen years? Like, because Tyson Fury was out of it. You For saw him. Long? He was so un. He oh, went through mental depression and all that kind of stuff, and then he came back and he he. Yeah, but he killed him. And um, Dante is it Dante he or? Better. And did he fight um, Anthony Joshua? Uh, not yet. Not yet. But he, Dante Wilder, uh, Wilder, what's he? Is he at his prime? At the moment, Joshua is the best heavyweight. Are you telling Wilder is a pushover? No, I think Joshua will beat Wilder. Yeah, but will Joshua beat Fury? <sighs> yeah, I, th- I think it'll be both of them. Oh, okay. Because I've seen Joshua get knocked out. Hmm? I've seen Joshua get knocked out. Yes. I've seen, uh, in, in heavyweight division... A lot of people were knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what that's what it's there for. It's yeah. for the knockout. Yeah. It's not for the. See, but like, I technically... reckon if Maxi was my dad, not if Maxi was my dad. If Maxi's dad was my dad, I would have been a world champion heavyweight boxer. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, he would have been because he would have been six seven. Yeah. Built like a tank. Yeah. And probably I would have been good, Anthony good... Joshua. Yeah, and good on his feet. <laughs> like physically. Yeah. Physically, I'm not even joking. I could have. Pretty much the exact same body as him. Yeah, but now do you just have, teach me do the you have that killer instinct? You reckon you have that killer instinct? Like, I reckon if I was raised by a boxer, yeah, 
I reckon who oh, you're raised man. by with Killer Instinct matters. I think the first, you know, if you got if you, if you've got it in you, when you get that first punt and you like you taste your blood and you go, mm, let's go, <laughs> let's go. But Otherwise, saying, if you get punched in the face and you don't like it, you're like, oh, actually, I'm out of here. What? <laughs> I'm out of you here. know what, Dev? <laughs> and there'll be a Tyson fight. I get punched. I'm out of here. No Our kids have been <laughs> yeah, like, we're out of here. Uh, we're out of here. Who is um Wanderly Silver? Because I guess it's someone good. Uh, but what's the, his name? I don't know. One, one, <laughs> one, Wanderlei, Wanderlei, Vanderlei Silva. Oh, Vanderlei. Oh, okay. So Vanderlei. So Kaduro, the trainer, says, uh, "I don't know what to expect from a guy who hasn't hit for like ages, almost ten years." Um, but when we started, he apparently Tyson has the same speed, the same power as a twenty to twenty-one, twenty-two year old, same as that Vanderlei, whatever. Um, and he was like. When he goes talking about power, I took his right hook and I thought, oh my god, he's gonna kill someone! Like he's that powerful. He's like, I've yeah, never yeah. ever yeah. fought. Like, yeah, he's a he's, he's a powerful. beast. He's a beast. Yeah. So he, he, he hit people and they stayed hit. We yeah. will see what happens then. This, he gonna knock someone out. Yeah. I'm putting I, all my money on him. I don't know if he can. Like he should no, no, fight. If, if it goes past three rounds, the other guy's gonna. Take him well, it depends yeah, who he's fighting. Yeah, they're fight. fifty year olds, but oh, you gonna knock someone out. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I, I think it's gonna be bad. Another fifty year old. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna, gonna be yeah. bad. You gonna knock out another fifty? Yeah, you gotta put someone in hospital. I don't like it. I don't like it because that fifty. I don't like it. <laughs> what were you saying, fans? <laughs> I don't like it. No, I'm just agreeing with them. I think if he's fighting uh, someone his age, it's it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. Not at all. <laughs>